Welcome to Alt Play. I'm here at Duelist City, trying to get all the pieces I need to be in the tournament. Excuse me, can you give me a minute? Woo, finally caught up with you. Have you seen Taya anywhere? I've been looking all over for her. Grandpa Yugi! Someone told me she was just here a minute ago. I'll see if I can find her. See you later. Wait, hold on, Mokuba. Really? Oops, I'm sorry. You're probably wondering what's going on. Something's wrong with Taya. I have no idea why, but she suddenly started talking real strange. Before I could make any sense out of her words, she disappeared. So now, I'm looking all over the place for her. I wonder where she... Taya! Hi, Grandpa Yugi. You shouldn't be messing with the ghouls. You... <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm borrowing your little friend here. My name is Merrick. Merrick Ishtar. You're the one who managed to beat one of my lackeys. I can't wait till we meet. I invite you to my home. Tail will be your guide. If you choose not to come, I'll just have to use your friend. So don't keep me waiting. Alright, we're gonna go save Taya. Taya's our friend. We save our friends. Well, welcome to the coolest hideout. Now that you're here, don't expect to see the light of day ever again. My duelists are waiting for you every step of the way. Beat one, and you'll be able to move on to the next room. But lose even once. Need I say more? Alright, Taya, you're on! I'll duel you to save you! No! No! Oh. This is just to determine who goes first. Let us duel! Let me turn off the, uh, the ghetto, ghetto turbo. Okay, Turbo's off for now. <coughs> oh, Taya played Diane Kiddo, the Cure Master. She also set one monster and two magical trap cards. We're in for some trouble. I draw. Mm. Prevent rat, swords of revealing light, giant rat, giant rat, solemn wishes, and trap hole. Okay, my normal strategy, my normal strategy with this deck is to play all defense until I can go all out, and I gain life along the way to buy me time. I wonder if that'll work. This is Taya, but we're fighting against Merrick. Let's try. All set! Not yet. I need to save Solemn Wishes. He's gonna sense my hesitation. I'll set one trap card face down, and I'll play one monster in face down defense mode, and I end my turn. Oh, Dark Hole! Fire Princess! She played Fire Princess! It has 13 attack points and 15 defense points. That's not bad, but it gains, uh, uh, it deals damage every time she gains health. I have to use my trap hole. She can't use my strategy against me. All right, because of Diane Keto, she has a thousand life points ahead of me. I draw. There's Marie the Fallen One. It's a normal monster as long as it's in play, really. 
It has 17 attack, 1700 attack points and 1200 defense points. But as long as it's in my graveyard, I gain 200 life points for each standby phase. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I should do prevent rat face down. I play one face down monster. That was me telling you guys, not telling Taya. And then I'll play one trap card face down and I'll end my turn. Taya played a monster face down. All right, as long as we can hold our defense, we'll be fine. I'll play another monster face down, and I'll end my turn. Ah, Tay also played another monster face down. This is tricky. Oh, in the face down trap card. All right, it's time to get things started. I'll play Swords of Revealing Light. It reveals all your face down monsters on your side, and you can't attack for three turns. Nimble Momonga, and two Nimble Momongas. She gains life whenever they go to the graveyard as a result of battle. And then she can find more Momongas and put them into play. That's not good. I'll flip over Solemn Wishes. Now every time I draw a card, I gain 500 life points. That's just what I need to gain the advantage here. I'll end my turn. Right, Genki! That's not good at all! She destroys all of my monsters! Alright, I've got a trick for her. First I'll draw and gain 500 points thanks to Solemn Wishes. Then I'll play Pot of Greed. It lets me draw two cards from my library. Because I'm drawing cards, I'll gain another 500 life points thanks to Solemn Wishes. Now, I drew Giant Soldier of Stone and uh, Summon Skull. Those two will come in handy. But not right now. I need to get rid of her monsters. I can do that with Cyber Jar. When Cyber Jar is flipped over, it destroys all the monsters on the field, and then we both reveal the top five cards of our deck. Any monsters go into play, and everything else goes to our hand. That's perfect for me to catch back up, as well as get rid of Nimble Momonka. I'll end my turn. Monster Reborn, she's pulling back my giant rat with Monster Reborn and the gift of the magical elf, Mystical Elf. It gives her 300 life points for each monster she controls. I believe face up monsters. Let's check. Oh, three monsters, period. Doesn't matter how they stand. I'll draw again, giving me 500 more points for Solemn Wishes. Let's see. We need a chance here. We don't need to wait until... Swords of Revealing Light dies the next turn. What we can do now is we can play Cyber Jar and flip it ourselves! When it flips, it destroys everything. And then we both reveal the top five cards. Any monsters go into play. Any monsters four, level, four, level four or less goes into play. So I'll put this one face down. And this one face down. Defense mode. All right, she played one, two, three, four. Four monsters for Taya. Let's see, we've got a full hand here. I'm gonna play this face down trap card and this face up magic card, Gravekeeper Servant. Now anytime you attack, the top card of your deck goes into, the, into your graveyard. Let's see. I need bigger defense because we're gonna have some trouble soon. I can feel it. I need that Millennium Shield to come out, but I'll, I'll wait a little bit. I'll play one more face down trap card and I'll end my turn. She moved Fire Princess into defense mode and played two magic and trap cards face down. And we lost Swords of Revealing Light. This isn't good. I'll draw again and gain more, uh, eight, more health, more life points. Let's see, what can we do? We've got one more, 100 more life points than her. What I'll do is I'll set Giant Soldier of... Ooh. I need to not tell my opponent. It's okay, because she played Shadow of Eyes. Whenever I play a card face, or a monster face down, it'll flip them over into face-up attack mode. Let's see, can I stop that? No, I can't. 
have to take it. My giant soldier stone is out in the light now. Alright. I'll end my turn. Gravekeeper servant? She has one of those too! This isn't good! Maybe I can get rid of that. I'll draw my card. Alright. Let's play Mystical Space Typhoon on your gra- uh, was it? Gravekeeper Servant! Alright, so I can still attack without losing anything from my deck. That's good. Uh, let's see, what can we play? Uh. Let's try... Summoning the Summon Skull in face of attack mode by sacrificing Mystical Elf! Yes! The gift of the mystical elf! Alright, what I needed to do was get rid of face down cards that don't need any problems. Alright, now we've got a problem. She's got a, a fire princess in play. Anytime she gains health, I'll lose health. Or gains LP, I'll lose LP. Okay, let's see if we can set this off. Uh, summon Skull! I need you to attack the fire princess! Chain of Javelin! That's not good either. She's gonna gain health before the attack, which means we're gonna lose health after. Oh no! Ugh. All right, we've gotten rid of the Fire Princess, and there's Numinous Healer. It's gonna give her health based on how many Numinous Healers are in the graveyard. I believe she's only gonna get 500. That's not that bad. Oh, 4,000? That's way worse. All right. We're, we're starting to lose, but I'll complete my turn. Taya played one monster card face down. I think I've got her on the run now. I'll draw and get 500 life points. The Cure Mermaid. Cure Mermaid is pretty good because as long as it's face up on my side, I'll get 800 life points at the beginning of each of my turns. Uh, we gotta start attacking. I just don't know what we should attack. Let's see if she'll take the bait. I'll play one monster face down defense mode. Copycat gains attack and defense based on any face up monster opponent has that I choose. But if I play it face down, it gets nothing. I want her to attack in. Oh, in my turn! Ah, she took it. She flipped over the Mysterious Puppeteer. Anytime she summoned the monster, she'll gain 500 life points. I guess it's a good thing that I got rid of that Fire Princess. And there's a Nimmo Momonga. In the Forgiven Maiden. And another Fire Princess! That's not good! Alright. He's gonna attack. And lose a monster, or lose a card from the top of her library, her deck. Let's see. We can use Bell of Destruction! Bell of Destruction lets me choose one monster, it's destroyed, and we both take damage based on its attack points. Let's get rid of the Fire Princess so we have no more problems. Alright. She destroyed my copycat. Just what I wanted to happen. Gravekeeper Servant is back. Oh no! We'll draw. <sighs> Magic Jammer, but it's one turn too short. Okay, we're gonna have to start attacking for real now. Her monsters have 800, er, yeah, 850 attack, 1000 attack, and 1000 attack. We'll be able to take them all out, but it'll cost us one card from the top of our deck for each attack. I'll summon Total Defense Shogun by sacrificing my Akumador. Now when it's summoned from my hand, it switches into defense mode, but it can still attack, which is just what I need right now. Do I have anything in my graveyard that can also attack and do a lot of damage? I believe the biggest would be Giant Rat. Let's go ahead and call Giant Rat. Start working on her life points. I'll activate Call of the Haunted for Giant Rat. 
It comes back from the grave. Now we're gonna attack. Summon Skull. I need you to attack the Forgiven Maiden. Uh, one card from my deck to my graveyard. Uh, Total Defense Shogun. Now it's your turn. I need you to attack the Mysterious Puppeteer. Okay, what all have we lost so far? So far we lost Soul Release and Negate Attack. I don't really need those cards. I have other ways I can win without them. Uh, let's do this. Uh, it's gonna gain... What, 1,000? Just 1,000? That's fine with me. Giant Rat! I need you to attack Nimble Momonga! Alright. And to a giant soldier of stone, there's nothing in your way! Attack! Alright. We started working on her for life points. We also lost Rageki and Skull Limitation. It's not bad. I don't think we needed those anymore. I'll end my turn! One card face down. Not bad, Teo. I'll draw! Grave Robber's Retribution. Ugh, I lost Soul Release, so I don't really need Grave Robber's Retribution. Grave Rot Robber's Retribution deals 100 points of damage to the opponent's black points for every card they have or be, uh, removed from their graveyard. That's what Soul Release was for. We gotta attack in here. But I don't want to waste my library too badly. We still got a lot of work to do. All right, time to attack! Summon Skull, attack that face down monster! Forgiven Maiden. What does the Forgiven Maiden do? I forgot. Where is it? If this card is face up, offer it for tribute. As a tribute to return one of your monsters destroyed in battle this turn to your hand. All right. Looks like we made a good call by destroying that. All right, Total Defense Shogun, it's your turn. I need you to attack. Giant Soldier of Stone, please attack. Giant Rat, please attack. All right, we've come this far. We can't stop now. We have 20 attacks left. 20 attacks and turns combined. As long as Giant Soul, uh, what is it? As long as Gravekeeper Servant is in play, we're on a timer. There's one more face down monster. All right, Taya, I draw. Let's see, we need bait. I need something to serve as bait for Mirror Force to go off. That way I can be sure that there's nothing in play. I'll play one monster in face down defense mode, as well as one trap card, and we'll go back for the attack. Summon Skull, destroy that face down defense mode monster. Needle Worm, that's not good. It's gonna mill me for five. Oh no, the timer's being sped up. Total Defense Shogun, I need you to attack her life points. The only way we can free Taya is by taking away her life points. All right, Giant Rat, you attack now. All right, now end my turn. We're almost there, Taya. We'll free you. Uh, one face down, trap or magic card. Might have a problem on our hands. Let's see. If I can switch Summon Skull to defense mode, an attack with you three, and that trap card isn't something serious, we should be okay. All right, Total Defense Shogun, you lead. Ooh. Let's start with Giant Soldier of Stone, you attack first. All right, now it's your turn, Giant Rat. All right, and finally, Total Defense Shogun. All right, we did it. We saved Taya. <sighs> I, I, I remember Joey. He's been captured by those 
Those ghouls! He? I? I don't remember anything else! Please! You've got to save him! Okay, so it seems like we'll be saving Joey next! Alright, we'll take that on on the next episode of All Play. If you guys enjoyed this episode and would love to see more, then all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. That way you can see us save Joey in the next episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe so that you can see more as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching.